and, and I like the point about mm. also recognizing how to deliver the message as well. Um, no one likes to be told. It did trust. No one likes to be told. Trust me, it didn't come naturally. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, I learned the hard way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it is. I mean, I, I'm often quite excited, and I'll sort of share everything. And we need to do this, this, and this, and this. And by the way, you know, you, yeah. you've got, you know, you, you know. And I don't, I don't sort of point fingers, but it's, um, it's not hard mm. to be able to go. Oh, you know, we've got to change that and change that to something more empowering mm. or whatever, mm. but it's, it's also the mm. delivery. Mm. I think one, uh, one thing I learned from my dad was he, the old Chinese, wise Chinese Confucius man is he'll, mm. he'll tell stories mm. in, in, in analogies, you know, um, and mm. he'll, he'll mm. Uh, or a, a dear friend of mine as well, he'll, he'll tell stories in analogies where there are lessons to be learned from the core of that story. Mm. Mm. Um, Absolutely. And you sit there and you go, oh, that resonates with me, but he's not saying it's me, but I know he's talking about me, mm. but he's not making me feel mm. small, you know? And, and not, not like, like it's you, correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that, that, that I've found mm. to be a really... It's clever, clever. Yes, really effective way. Well, it's a real art, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm. yeah, and I've, it is one thing that I've noticed that, that is very effective for people who, um, you know, it's a pride thing. You don't want to be told that you've got mm. limiting beliefs, mm. so... Um, I, I, mm. I really like that point about delivery. You have to be able to cater your mm. delivery to someone as well, if, if you're dealing with someone. But, uh, you know, conversely, oh, that's that's sort of the way that I would like to be, you know, spoken mm. with about. Um, so, Absolutely. yeah, okay. Now, uh, and and, and sometime, sometimes we learn these things uh, when we make mistakes, right? Yes. So uh, yes. I, I am not professing to be the relationship expert. Just let me clarify yes. that up for all of your uh, viewers. Yeah. Right. So let me let me move back oh, to sorry, something yes. that I do know about. Well, so so four. the next then uh, so we've gone through rec recognizing that it's not true. Can you see that? Now the next yeah. is around um, forming empowering beliefs. So that is forming something that's the opposite of what we talked about. So go back to the point that I made earlier. Uh, you know when we were talking about um, the fear of failure and flipping that around and saying how do I make that happen? So it's creating a belief it's 180 degrees the opposite of the fear that we had or the limiting belief that we had does that make sense mm. so you want to come up with something that's different mm. so rather than being fearful of speaking to agents recognize that agents need to be my friends because they're the gateway to property mm. if you're going to use agents that does that make sense yeah. so just come up with something that's the opposite come up with a whole different language a whole different story and constantly say that to yourself over and over and over again the fifth point you see that is around start, start as, if. as if start as if so start as if start as if you're a successful property developer a successful business owner um, you know a confident salesperson a confident negotiator start to tell yourself this is who I am start to walk as if you're a successful uh, negotiator successful property developer tell yourself through affirmations I go through a morning routine and um, you know morning routine is just a whole nother lesson on its own but one of the things that I do is around affirmations mm. and I have a whole series of things that I tell myself right now these things aren't true right now but they will be true but I say them as if they're true now does that make yeah. sense and so I'm constantly saying to myself a whole range of affirmations that helps me move uh, move forward so starting as if is as if this is happening right so that's number five and number six is create evidence Create evidence. Now, the thing is that you don't need to create evidence in the field that you're wanting to specialize in. For example, I'm going to use me as an example. I lost weight, a whole lot of weight, mm. and then I became successful at property development. The two have nothing to do with each other other than I was the individual doing both. Yeah. So because I went and lost a whole lot of weight, and I lost a lot of weight, right, in a short period of time, then I said to myself, well, if I can do that, I can do anything that I put my mind to. Does that make sense? So that's one way that you don't have to create evidence of success in property development per se. It could be in another field, but then you take the success that you've had in this unwavering sense of belief and then you yeah. apply it to the field that you're chasing. The other way to create um, evidence of success, start small. Start small. Start small. Have a win. Reflect. Stick your chest out. Pat yourself on the back. 
and then go a bit bigger and a bit bigger and a bit bigger. And so that way then you're also starting to build momentum that way, right? Yeah. So you're starting to form beliefs. So you know what? So I'm, I'm struggling to uh, – I've got this fear of talking to agents. Cool. So this week I want you to talk to two real estate agents. Mm. Start small. Mm. Great. How was that? Huh, I'm alive. The sky hasn't caved in. Cool. This week I want you to talk to three and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so you just start small and you're constantly building the success and then over a period of time it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. And so this goes back to our, our goal setting again um, and being able to, what do they call about the elephant? How do you how do you eat an elephant? One little bite at a time. One bite at a time. Yeah. One bite at a time. Might be a bit chewy. 100%. Might be a bit chewy, but just take, take, start with the. But just break break it down. Mm. And, and again, this this helps with belief. If you are struggling with something, mm. so if you're struggling with public speaking, mm. stand in front of one person, speak in front speak in front of the mirror of yourself, then speak in front of one person, then speak in front of two, then speak in front of three. Does that make yeah. sense? So on and so forth. Yeah. So just start small and then build it out from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing that, that, that sort of brings to mind as well is that when you've mentioned as well is to focus on external factors as opposed to focusing on yourself. Um, when you yeah, and to, I was just going to say that actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you yeah, focus, 100%. And it's, and, but it, sorry, you go. Yeah, no, you, go ahead. So, so it's in regards to the fear of criticism from other people, mm. right? So this is the single biggest fear that I believe that, that, that we have. And this is a generalisation, mm. uh, and I'm happy to be challenged on this, but I believe this is the biggest fear that we have. Why don't we move forward in property development? Mm. Because we're fearful mm. of someone judging us if it doesn't work. Mm. I don't want to look foolish in the eyes of other people. And that's because we're focusing inward. We're focusing on, on us, and I don't want to be made to look silly and et cetera, mm. right? But what about, what about forging a different life for yourself? You know, from a public speaking point of view, what about, um, you know, telling yourself, I've got this enormous amount of value that I want to share and I want to share it with as many people as I possibly can. So rather than going, you know, fear of being criticised by standing up in front of people, people judging me because I say the wrong thing, I do ums and arms, I forget my ours, I forget my lines, uh, I look foolish, I, st I might stutter, I might whatever, it's like, well, that's inward. Mm. Outward is, I've got a wealth of knowledge. I'm not just saying me, I'm saying everybody. Everyone has their own um, wealth of knowledge of something. Mm. And perhaps we don't know what that is. And again, that comes down to our self-awareness and understanding ourselves. But we've all got something. Mm. And when you think about sharing that outwardly, then all of a sudden, you stop focusing on you and you focus on how can I give more? How can I serve? How can I help other people? How can I do this to help one person? Sure. If I can help one person um, have a positive impact or do something differently because of the experience that I had, mm. how cool is that? Mm. And so that's where you're taking the focus off yourself and you're worried about your hair and how you look and all this sort of stuff as opposed to, you know what, I'm, it, but it happens, mm. right? I know that you're laughing, but it happens. Yeah. It's like, you know what, I'm actually going to focus outward. Mm. Because here's the thing. When you put yourself out there, like I do, like you do. We're here on uh, live TV. We're open to people scrutinising and saying whatever it is that they want about us, right? And and there's, there potentially is going to be criticism. There's some things that I might say that you might say where people, uh, you know, people might criticise. Mm. But again, if, if if this is in line with your towards your goal, that is to add value to serve more people. Well, you have to keep doing it. Yeah. You have to keep doing it. You can't let one hater or, or one person hold you back from doing what you need to do. And the same when I first started in my own property development journey, the number of people who said, whoa, 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 don't do that. Lose plenty of money doing property development. Mm. And it was their insecurities trying to keep me back mm. into the herd, mm. trying to keep me, you know, we're a herd mentality as humans. Mm. And they don't want someone to break away and do something different. You know, I, I stopped going out as much. I, I was getting up, you know, super early and going to bed early and really changed the way that I did things. People said, what's, what's wrong with him? But I knew what I was doing because I had a very clear direction of what I needed to do to change my circumstances and get out of my job. Yeah. But to other people, it's like, oh, my goodness, he's changed. Mm. How weird is he now? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And so you've, but you've got, to, you've got to back yourself, but you've got to know what, why I'm going for this and what it is that I'm going for. And so Go back to lesson one, lesson two. How do you block out the haters? 
uh, you get used to it. Uh, and be comfortable. It's not, with it's not easy. Choice. I mean, there's, 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 well, it's, I've had plenty of people say different things to me over the time. And, you know, early on, it, it does hurt. Mm. You know, it does hurt. You know, there's certainly things that, that hurt. But, again, I then sit here and, again, gates, gates. Am I going to let this person stop me, stop me at this gate from achieving my goal? Mm. Is that comment, is it going to stop me? And at which point then I go, you know what? Perhaps that goal wasn't big enough. Or I go, you know what? Yeah, I'm not happy about it, but I can't do anything about mm. it. I can't do anything about it from the point of view of I can't control. If someone's going to have a go at me about something, well, that's on them. That's not on me. Mm. If you don't like what I'm saying, turn it off. You know, do something else, right? So, but for me, my goal is down here and I've just got to keep going in this direction. Yeah. And I almost look at it. I was having this conversation... I was going to say to. I was having this conversation with someone someone early, earlier tonight. Actually, I was, I was um, had a had a guy mm. here fixing up my my computer. I mean, chat about stuff. Uh, and I gave up drinking. I gave up um, drinking alcohol two and a half years ago, and over two and a half years ago actually. And um, I remember early on uh, the criticism that I got was just unbelievable. I know I I had drunk. I was never a big drinker, but I certainly you know I liked a good drink. Uh, but everyone else uh, had an issue with it. Mm. And for me, I've been able to just, you know, do you just work your way through that. You, you overcome all that stuff and it's like, but I'm doing this for my reasons. So that's fine. Have your opinion, but I'm doing it for me. And no different with property development. It's different. Okay. People understand investment to a point of view and it's like, well, you know, but, but developing is a bit different and they have all different connotations around that. And they don't want you to, to, to be too successful. They want to, they want to keep you, uh, keep you back, keep you in the herd. Mm. 